everyone. My name is Kaylin Helmick, and I am an Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. And in this video, we will be discussing the markup feature on eDrawings. Here we have open an eDrawings file, and if we go to the bottom right corner of our screen, we can click on the markup option. Here we are presented with a variety of different ways that we can add markups to our drawing. Let's go ahead and add a cloud around this view. And let's also add some text underneath that cloud. In addition to adding labels to our drawing, we can also add shapes. For example, if we want to add a line through this dimension to let our engineer know that they have the wrong dimension here. We can also add dimensions to our drawing and notice that we are given a variety of different ways to select our object. We will be selecting a vertex, so let's make sure this one is highlighted. So let's go ahead and click our points. Let's let them know that this dimension is supposed to be 82 millimeters. So notice that my markups are appearing in green. We can actually change this if we go to markup options. We can also customize our name as well as add a phone number and email address. Here is where we can change our color. And the reason that you might want to customize your markups is if you will have multiple engineers all reviewing the same drawing. A variety of colors or styles will help each engineer know who it is that made each markup and who to go to if they have a question about a particular markup. Let's click OK to finish. So now that we are done making our markups, we can go ahead and save this eDrawings file. And then this will be able to be opened by anyone who has eDrawings. The same concepts for markup apply in an eDrawings part file as well. Let's go ahead and add a dimension here. And once again, markups can also be used in eDrawing assembly file types too. So up until now, we have only been discussing eDrawings file types, but you can also add markups to SolidWorks parts and SolidWorks assemblies that are open in eDrawings. But when you save this part, you will be saving it as an eDrawings file, not as a SolidWorks part or a SolidWorks assembly anymore. So when the user goes to open this part again in SolidWorks, there will be no notification that there's a markup that's related to this part or assembly. So just keep that in mind. SolidWorks drawings are different, however. Let's take a look at how that works. So let's add some markups to this drawing. Let's once again change this dimension. And let's also call out this radius here as well. So now that we're done with our markups, when we go to save it, we can save it directly like this, but then that will save it as an eDrawings file. Instead, let's look at this other option, save markup. When we save as a markup, we are saving only the markups that we made and not the drawing itself. It's asking us which reviewers markups we'd like to save and we are the only option currently. So let's click OK. And let's name it Hub. Let's click Save. And then when this drawing is opened again in SolidWorks, we can actually view those markups here in SolidWorks. We do this by going to Insert, eDrawings Markup File, and then selecting the markup that we just made. Now notice that these markups are appearing right here in the SOLIDWORKS drawings file. They also show up over here on the feature tree. And if we have multiple reviewers that are all leaving comments, all the comments will appear here. And when you click on it, it highlights on the drawing. Having the markups right here 
in SOLIDWORKS allows you to easily understand what it is that needs to be changed instead of having to flip back and forth between eDrawings and SOLIDWORKS to make all your changes. They're all right here for you. This concludes our video on how to use eDrawings markup. Thanks for watching.